use an applicator. You don't want it to pour the ink in the water and thinking of the more in the better, no. Uh, if the ink goes to the bottom of the, the, the tank here, then it's lost. You will have to encourage as much ink to flow on the surface as possible, as much of that as possible, okay? So I would use, instead of pouring in, I usually use an applicator like this, okay? Now, it tell me right away that this water is good for marbleizing because you see that so much ink is flowing on the surface, okay? So initially, it would take quite a bit of ink to establish that. So I'm gonna put quite a bit more ink to start, to get this started. Okay, I think that's probably enough now. So now I'm gonna do that, either you can use this, that, that's, um, uh, this as a stick to sort of move the image, all right? to move the image a little bit, or you could also use your finger to move this, okay? So the ink swirl, okay? Now we're ready to place this down. In this case, it probably doesn't matter which side, you know, the both sides with that, but usually the right side of the paper is usually a little bit smoother than the other side. So my, my feeling at this side is smoother. So this is the side that is gonna, we're gonna transfer the in image to it. So place this straight down. Don't submerge the paper and thinking of your netting fish, you know, and get the image up. No, go straight down. The paper has to be dry, so immediately the image will be transferred to the paper. All right, for this piece here, I did not do any manipulation. You always put this on the uh, felt or whatever blanket or tower. All right, you put this uh, face up. Just see, just look at that, you know, how exciting this texture that you get from there.